You remember when the Batman who last popped up with these motherfuckers from the dark multiverse where everything bad basically happens is they got a world for that shit? Well, on the new issue of 1059 uh, of Action Comics, we found out that the girl that took uh, Superman's power using this thing right here, that's Bruce and Talia's daughter from another universe, from the dark multiverse too. On this world, they got the Emperor of Shadows and they took over that world. They beat the Green Lantern and they beat the fuck out of fucking uh, Dark Dr. Hate. Batman said that they were supposed to be invading the Earth, right? And the threat was called the Emperor of Shadows. They was like, nah, I think you mean the League of Shadows. And the League of Shadows don't have that kind of juice. The Emperor of Shadows ain't from this Earth. Our world, Ra's al Ghul and the League of Shadows are centuries old and a legitimate threat. But we've always been able to stop them. The Emperor of Shadows has been growing for more than a thousand years in a place we call the Dark Multiverse. According to my source on this other Earth, Ra's al Ghul completely achieved his goals. He's the only true superpower left on the planet. The Emperor of Shadows controls Earth's governments, its economies, its militaries, its religions. Their control is absolute. absolute. What are their military capabilities? practically limitless their siege engines are unstoppable they control a form of magic i've never seen before their warriors are well trained many are biologically enhanced and their bodies contain lazarus resin making them basically unkillable by conventional means though the emperor shadow stands at the purest form of dictatorship that exists in any universe so far as we know the person that they gonna go rescue though isn't human he's a figure knight a guardian of the multiverse and the one who alerted him about the threat. All the intel he showed him, the Empire Shadows, the plan, the images from their world, they come from him. He's his tether. Y'all want to know who that is? It's Tempest Fignot, the guardian of the dark multiverse. He has stood and watched the between realities since he was born. Both the regular multiverse and the dark multiverse. He is one of the few beings who can move freely between the multiverses, two realms. It is his power and his curse. Yeah, they captured his motherfucking ass. So they use her and the green hood because it's rare, but multiversal travel, your magic makes you one of the very few people on earth capable of something like that. They use her to go over to the other universe, right? Look at the artwork at the bottom. That shit changed like a motherfucker as they get over there. They said the air smells wrong here, it even looks wrong. We look wrong, why? The worlds of the dark multiverse are fundamentally broken. As the rate of entropy accelerates, the laws of space and time break down. Light refracts differently. Gravity behaves irregularly. Any natural laws could be in flux here. Let's do what we came here to do and get home. So they get to walking and that's when they seen this damn ritual of fucking Batman, Ra's al Ghul Batman. They get in a fight with everybody there. And they end up taking that girl in the hood to try to use her to fucking amplify the fucking dude because he ended up dying. So they used him and her to try to get through the damn multiverse. It was a funny ass dialogue in here where they was talking about Batman ass, his obsession. They was like, he got no power, no cool nanotech, just a guy with a growly voice, bat shaped big gadgets and calcified uh, joints probably. I'm sorry, I just think he's a little overrated. I got the natural enhancements, the AI, the accelerated healing, the dark door tech, and my whole vibe is way more hardcore. I don't think that's up for debate. He can't even be bothered to kill anybody. Got his ass knocked in the back. Anyway, after they saved uh, her, right, they had stole the fucking figure nine and shit. It was the only worry way back to Earth Zero, which is the prime Earth. Batman Ra's al Ghul ass said, don't worry, children. We'll see our enemies again. As you find out, everybody there is a part is his fucking kids. Everybody that's a part of the Emperor's shadows. So now in issues 1059, right? You see this fucking truck going off and shit. These motherfuckers scared. That's when fucking Superman and them pulled up and looked like it, right? They was like, we'll surrender. They was like, surrender? You must got us mistaken with somebody else, bro. Dude goes to the damn grind talking about some we're blue earth and we don't surrender. The floor is on fire and some more shit. These motherfuckers just sitting there watching with this ugly ass face. That's when you see somebody with a cape pop up and a sword. He cuts through that shit. It was Superman and steel. And these motherfuckers talking about some y'all outmatch. Move the fuck around. Superman was like, I'll match. Beam the shit out of Superman. He tried to hit his ass. Superman, get the fuck out the way. This motherfucker was trying to hit Superman with a damn brick as he was uh fighting and shit. He get his ass hit in the face by fucking steel. Superman cracked the fuck out of dude. As he said, we're not alone. The super family pulled up, right? So they ain't want no problems for a little second. But of course, cameras got put on them. So egos got popped up. So they want to fight again. The super twins pulled up, right? 
the Ultra Rosh, her ass started to fucking trip as you see Batman's daughter from the other earth. She get to fucking with her about when she was on War World and when they were slaves. When they kill somebody, they chains get longer and they feel empowered by that shit. I know, fucked up, right? She was like, shut up. I'm a super girl of the House of L. Shut up. She's like, yeah, now you used to twist your fucking sheets and shit around your wrist or your shirts and shit to try to see how strong you could have been. Shut up. That shit ain't do shit to her. She threw her something, right? Talking about something, I'll see you soon. She wake, they, uh, her brother wakes her up. She was like, man, you was still uh, standing in place. Like, we had battled and everything. What's that you got in your hand? And she showed her it was that thing. Something she said she just picked up. Superman is up here getting charged up from the last since she got his powers took. And they're using this harvester array. It's supposed to charge his ass faster than raw sunlight. They got five satellites that's up here drawing energy and, and having it stored at any time. Superman walks out that shit like, I don't need that be re fully recharged. I got to get down there to clean up. They was like, well... Meet back with the kids and shit, right? We see her fucking with this necklace. Keep that in mind. The Blue Earth people took that live streaming and edited it and made it seem like the damn Superman and his family was the one destroying shit. And now they down there cleaning up, live streaming that shit to make it seem like they the heroes. They trying to replace the Justice League. They trying to replace the Super family too. They said they developed radiation process and nanobots or something, something that could radi uh, replicate Kryptonian powers. And the fucked up thing about it, the people are starting to believe that shit that they broadcast and believe that they the, uh, the villains. This where Superman was looking at her and he was like, man, where have I seen her before? It's driving me crazy. She's like, sorry, babe. I wish I knew. And she got to talk. He was like, you know who she reminds me of? She kind of looks like Bruce. Superman said, great Scott. I've been blind. This is all my fault. She's been laughing at us this whole time. She's an Al Ghul. Bruce and Talia's daughter from another universe. This is our fault, Bruce and Mines. This alien invasion stone keeps talking about it's real. So remember that necklace? Man, some green shit came out right and started to snatch her ass up. Superman tried to hurry up and get over to her, but he was too late. He said, Ortho, we'll find you. We, we see her ass get transported over to Earth Al Ghul. As she said, big, big things are about to happen, kid. And the awful lot of it relies on you. You probably thought your new family had high expectations, huh? She's in the dark multiverse. I believe they gonna try to use uh, Superman's daughter to try to get to Earth Zero. Cause he said, you see our enemies have advantages that we need. And you see that the fig Figgy Knots are not the only way forward. Don't worry children, we will see our enemies again.